Hello Wobblies! Welcome to Wobbly Outer Outdoors. I'm Chris and today we're looking... I always say people will steal anything and frequently do. <laughs> Here's how we try to avoid that. <laughs> so in hopes it will help you protect your gear, here's some things that we do to protect our gear on our Morris Mill trailer. There's some things on the Morris Mule trailer that help when you're trying to secure items. In part, those are the loops that are all around the trailer. And another thing that's especially helpful is on each end of the top where the doors are, there is a spot that you can put a lock through. In addition, there are two bars on the front of the trailer that go all the way across that are welded in place. For securing the jerry cans, we use Smitty Belt brackets, which have a spot that you can run a small padlock through the front or even a cable. In addition to the locks on the front of the jerry can bracket, we are also now using cable locks. The reason is one time when we were staying in a hotel in Farmington, New Mexico, we were in between stops. Somebody tried to pry the bracket off of the jerry can and steal the jerry can. That's why it has this custom curve. We found that International Harvester Red is pretty much the same color as a Crown Jerry Can. On top of the doors of the Morris Mill trailer, we've got our recovery boards as well as a shovel on one side and an axe on the other side. For each set of recovery boards, we are using the same cable locks that we use on the front that go around the Jerry Cans as well as their brackets. These are Master Lock Python cable locks. They're made of braided steel. These particular ones are 5 16 of an inch or 8 millimeters. On the outside of the braided steel is a vinyl coating. You'll see that there is green on this lock. That's green paint. We color coded the locks and the keys so that we know quickly which lock goes with which key. These cable locks are 6 feet long. This allows us to open the doors that are on top of George. There are a good number of toolboxes you can get for your trailer that have some sort of latch that has a place that you can put a padlock or it can be a, a keyed lock directly where the latch itself is. To secure the high lift jack in place, we're also using another Master Lock Python cable lock. This one also has the braided steel cable that is coated in vinyl. However, this one is slightly smaller in diameter. It's 3 16th of an inch. On the latch of most trailers, there's a hole that you can run a padlock through. That works great when it's on your vehicle, as well as when you're not connected to the trailer, it can help prevent people from stealing it. We also use a hitch lock when the trailer is disconnected. In addition to the pin lock on the hitch, what you just saw Bill tightening up are the screws for a hitch tightener that helps keep the hitch from doing that so much. I didn't come with a locking tailgate. So Bill added an aftermarket lock. We'll put links to all the products we showed in this video down in the description below. On one of our videos about George, the Morris Mule trailer, someone asked how the high lift jack is attached to George. So I'll show you that real quick. The tongue deck of George has expanded metal and the high lift jack has holes in its base. So at the base of the high lift jack, there's the bolt holding it down there. And then at the top of the high lift jack, there is an interesting bolt and fastener arrangement that Bill has put together around the high bar of the trailer. 
and then run a bolt with mini washers and nuts keeping it secure in a wing nut to keep it in place. We check the wing nut pretty often to be sure it's nice and secure. Since we've gotten several questions about George, the Morris Mule trailer, we thought we should mention that yes, we still have George as well as Poe, the Escapade Backcountry. And the reason is we want to do some comparison videos, not as a one-to-one -one of the rigs because they're different, but showing you two different options for small trailers in hopes we can give you some ideas about which type of trailer might work best for you. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.